So-called liberal enlightenment drives many minds to convince themselves that all is well. A convenient cover story sold to those who don't really want to see that an age-old inequality still prevails and much of what was still is hell. Young children caught underwater below the ice plate, hypothermic, deprived of oxygen, presumed dead, occasionally revived against odds, science, and common sense. Crooked nappy roots, familial cultural connections to sounds, food, voice, movement through space and time. Do you know what it means to be whitewashed, cleansed of your heritage, connections to people that look like you? Our very young have a limited ability to shut down, hibernate, heart decelerates, breathing insubstantial, covert. Breathing becomes covert, and the brain signs off in the name of preservation. Is that what happens? To release yourself from your supplanted role of humanity, your race, become hypervigilant about your experience with race, the lies you tell and were told, atone for the misgivings by acknowledging and accepting your experience, not knowing race, as the power broker destroying your humanity, your civilization's humanity. The push for higher education takes a back seat to higher incarceration as a new Jim Crow arrives. With token icons propped up, painted in gold and diamonds, merely high price, high price black face mental shows fed to the masses regardless of race or station to conjure certain images and keep a certain status quo. Is this why on day one of a three-week high school leadership action, 27 students in 50 shades of brown and several more of pink tell me that race is not a problem? <laughs> Say what? The room cools. Like lowering body temperatures, breathing slows, blood thickens until all I can hear is the wind upon Lake Superior, swift. Everywhere. Is there still racism in America? In this nation that has progressed so much so that a man of color, a black man, can become the commander in chief? Has the ugly scar of racial prejudice dissipated? Has it finally ceased? Don't be fooled. Maybe the metaphor is a labyrinth, a maze, that leads to a single center, and the mostly white staff, including me, stand at checkpoints, not sure if we are guides or gatekeepers, not certain if knowledge is an investigation or invasion, because the deeper these kids get to the center, the more likely we will lose our position in the maze, which has been built from the materials of white supremacy. Identities incorporated. Culture diluted into extreme stereotypes. And we are double agents. Then sold to the masses in a concoction meant to showcase these people as truly less than. Not sure if we are apologists or infiltrators trying to get our story right. Bought and consumed by both sides in volume just as planned. Trying to get this 400-year-old story straight. Eagerly, they sell their souls for gold. And there are borders everywhere, loops and sudden right angles. Hoping that by being seen literally dripping with bling, somehow self-esteem will magically grow and they... Are we in or are we out? Won't be bottom shelf. How do we lead others to a center we have yet to find? Completely missing the point of divide and conquer. A division woven deep within the very fiber of their beings throughout generations. Structured racism is an industry of toxins and filters, poison and waste, mounds of garbage surrounded by a few blue recycling bins. Even when given tools that might change the plight of an entire race and nation. Impurities and incidents collect like impurities in the bloodstream, settle in the liver and lungs. All the while feeding mouths that thrive from their degradation, a twisted psychology's creation. Until the blood pressure rises, heart stutters, a lack of true education. Breathing constricts and body rebels, shuts down, I or explodes. This. Simple but prudent observation. 
Knowledge is key for change. We must face it. We can only be collectors for so long. Allow the lust for power to rule over peace once greed was tasted. Eye to eye, hand in hand, we must all walk this jagged path of redemption. There is no exception to undo what has been done. Each of us, black, white, native, Hispanic, or Asian, all must become part of the solution. We must all be the ending equation. Unity. The time is now. Unity is how we answer the question, what now? What now? What now? 